you. Joining me now for the other Thank side, you, Brigitte Gabriel, author of the New York Times bestseller, Because They Hate. Brigitte, uh, thank you for being here. And so your response to Harris, as a, as a person who was actually used when you were a child as a human shield by the Palestinians, your thoughts? The Palestinians have perfected using children to win the world's sympathy, and this goes back uh, 30 years. I, as a child, between 1975 and 1976, was used as a human shield in my bomb shelter. We were nine children hiding in a bomb shelter. My mother went out and begged the Palestinian leader, who parked his cannon. They used to park their rocket launchers in front of our homes, launch at Israel, fully knowing that when Israel retaliates, we're going to make the evening news and they would move their rocket launcher from home to home, fire one rocket in front of each home and move away. When Israel retaliated, actually it hit one of my neighbors' home and the mother was wounded along with the two children. And guess what was on Lebanese television that night? People wounded because of Israel and Lebanon television was saying, look how horrible the Israelis are, they are killing children. The Palestinians have perfected the propaganda war. Uh, they cannot win militarily against Israel, so what they do is they use their own children as disposable collateral in order to win the war of public opinion against Israel. Mm. You know, tonight they are taking heat, Israel is, because the UN claims that it gave Israel 17 times the coordinates of this school that was hit. And the suggestion seems to be that Israel has gotten reckless with, re with civilian lives in Gaza. Your thoughts on it? Israel is always careful with civilian lives. Israel goes out of its way. What other country drops leaflets by the thousands warning civilians to leave because they're going to bomb in 48 hours? What other nation gives such notice? They do it in Lebanon. They do it with Hezbollah in Lebanon during the war. They do it with Hamas in Gaza. If the, if the civilians do not leave, we need to ask why. Why are the civilians are not leaving fully knowing that within 48 hours their homes are going to be bombed? Let's also not forget Megan, that of all the rockets that Hamas launched at Israel, over 100 rockets fell short into Gaza, fired by Hamas. So all the casualties that Hamas is talking about are not exactly Israeli casualties or because of Israel. It's because the Palestinians do not value the lives of their children and they are willing to sacrifice their children in the cause of uh, jihad. Well, and I, I should point out that Israel does question some of these uh numbers in terms of the, the deaths thus far on the Palestinian side. Rajit, good to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Well, the